Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and it is the second video of our series Red Hat Ansible tutorial. In this series we will see what is Ansible, we will basically recap up from the first part what is Ansible. In this first part I have already uh, teach how to um, install Ansible, uh, particularly in, in, in AWS, and then how to configure Ansible also. Okay, in this part, we will recap this, what is Ansible, then we will see what is Ansible modules, okay, and uh, how to use Ansible helps and uh, Ansible docs. Okay, it is a very important topic here because there are here number of modules Ansible provides, okay. So um, to see what is the property of module how to use the module this ansible doc is very very much important and then we will see the ansible ad hoc commands okay before we will jump into the actual playbook let we feel ansible through the ad hoc first okay then we will jump into the playbook so let we go ahead so what is ansible as i told you ansible is an automation tool and it's do not use agents like other automation platforms use like puppet terraform okay so it is the agentless so it's require a, a machine uh, which in which ansible need to be installed and then ansible lead particularly two type of um, uh, files one is playbook another is the inventory uh, playbook is the rules in which we define that what uh, what automation we require into the uh, into the um, um, managed host okay so this machine is called the control node and the hosts are called the managed host which is basically managed by the control node ansible okay and then we are having a inventory file in which we basically having the list of all the managed host okay so this was the general introduction. Then uh, let me move to the, our, um, our setup, uh, which I have set up for this whole tutorial series. Okay, so in my AWS console, I have uh, uh, configured three uh, virtual machines. Uh, one is for control node, another are my two managed host, managed host one, managed host two. And in my control node, I have created these two files. One is Ansible configuration file, another is the inventory file. Ansible configuration file is having uh, basic uh, Ansible configuration information that what would be the user, like username would be the M12, where with the inventory file location and other privilege escalations are there. And in my inventory file, uh, I have um, um, I, I have added basically two machines here one is just uh, for intro purpose it is local host and then i am having host one and host two host one is the managed host this machine so here is the private ip of managed host of my aws virtual machine and in host two group here it is the managed host two virtual machine of my aws okay so the, let me move ahead to the third slide here so Ansible module. So what is what are the Ansible modules? So Ansible provides many type of module here. So if we you can see uh, it, it is just an example I am showing you here. So these are the module category: file module, software package module, system modules, net tools module. So like in file modules, we can have a copy means copy uh, a local file uh, from from your local machine from um, from a machine to the managed host. Okay, and then uh, likewise. We are having the file module uh, line in file in which uh, we can check, we can um, um, see uh, or, or can look whether uh, whether a file contain the file right uh, line in file. So this is kind of a module. Okay, in copy module, like we can either copy a file or we can uh, either copy a content. Okay, into the file. Likewise, we are having the um, software package module like package. We are having yum. APT. Okay, so you know that uh, uh, different machines uses different uh, software package module like uh, Linux uses yum. Okay, and uh, Ubuntu uses APT likewise. Okay, so uh, so uh, if we want to use particular package, then we can choose these package if we can if we if we don't know the package uh, particularly, then we can use the package. Okay, here package module. Okay, this package module will automatically pick. Okay, either YAM or the APT according to your managed host uh, operating system. Then we have uh, system modules like firewall, reboot, service, many kind of user. Okay, so in this user module, you can add, remove, or manage your user accounts. 
likewise net uh, net tool modules okay get url uri so many kind of there are the, uh, thousands of uh, uh, module which is provided by the ansible i will let you know on this okay so uh, even in cloud world uh, number of modules provided by the aws number of module provided by the azure uh, google cloud okay so all different kind of cloud are here and everyone is using different kind of modules they are having their own modules okay so by using uh, ansible you can configure your aws cloud module means from from your a single machine you can uh, uh, you can set up all of your uh, cloud work in the aws by using the aws cloud modules okay likewise okay so these are the very simple example i am showing you here okay and uh, this is a very uh, very uh, very deep sea ansible in itself okay so let me move ahead here okay so uh, so as i told you there are number of modules okay so how we can choose and how we can learn that which and how to basically uh, what is the way of use a module in our ansible playbook or either in the uh, ad hoc command okay so that's why we need this command ansible doc okay this is a very important command so let me i i show you how to use this command okay so let me uh, so these are my command ansible doc Okay, minus L is it is it will list all the all the Ansible doc currently we are having. Okay, so let me move to my so this is my control node. Okay, uh, I have connected my control node AWS through the SSS client, and if I execute this Ansible node my uh, Ansible doc minus L command, okay, so it will list all the modules. Okay, see you can see. Number of modules are here. Number of modules. Lot of modules are here. You can see the um, screen. My okay. You can see in my screen number of modules. Okay, lot of modules are here. Okay, let me quick quit it here. Okay, and suppose if I if I want to uh, search a particular module because here number of modules. Suppose I wanted to search uh, yum modules. Okay, so let me use grab command and search yum yum here. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can see it is showing us two uh, YUM modules. One is YUM, one is another is the YUM repository. Okay, so this manage package with the YUM package manager. This is this is the description of the YUM. Okay, so if I if I want to check how any module, suppose I wanted to check how a copy module work. Okay, so I what I will give command ansible doc and then copy module. Okay, module name here I have to put. So if I if I press it here, okay. So it is showing us your uh, copy module. How to use means how attribute is needed for the copy. What are the options? Okay, um, uh, attribute, content, destination. What would be the destination? Okay, and kind of okay. So and and very important thing. It is also will provide you the example. Okay, how to use it. Okay, so let me show you. These are the examples. Okay. So examples, okay. So how to use them? Okay, this this these examples are you can directly copy from here and can paste in your playbook. Okay, so uh, these are the example you can uh, you can refer from Ansible doc. Okay, uh, for your playbook. So likewise, you can understand how uh, how this module will work for your playbook. It is a very important command. Any any and anyone wants to learn Ansible, he must. To um, um, learn how to use Ansible doc command, okay? Because by this command you can have understanding of modules, okay? So number of modules you can see here, okay? And one more thing, actually, I wanted to show you here, uh, like, uh, okay? Uh, you which was the required field okay okay whatever you are seeing is here in the start with the um, with the equal sign okay this equal sign is showing that this attribute is required okay this is the uh, attribute this attribute is the essential attribute okay so you require this attribute while uh, you will uh, use uh, this uh, uh, copy command okay 
so likewise other 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 modules uh, um, other other attribute might not be required but the dash like see in example you can see everywhere you can see dash because this is the required module mandatory mod mandatory attribute you can say okay so uh, let me quit it here okay and after let me see what next okay next is the ad hoc commands okay so uh, before going and before jumping uh, to the actual playbooks okay because play playbook is the main thing uh, in ansible uh, which is having all the rules certain um, rules which we need to define into the managed host okay, okay but uh, suppose if, if if we don't want to just um, just we wanted to run some a simple command or a single command in my managed host okay then for this we need not to write a playbook okay we can directly run this command through ansible using the ad hoc command mode okay so i have for example i have given here some ad hoc commands let me explore them one by one okay so uh, this is my command let, let me first run this command ansible host okay uh, this one command so let we paste it here okay so what this command is doing it is it will run this command into my host one okay and uh, uh, minus m command what, what command we are giving minus a means it is a kind of a parameter of that command so uh, command what we are running cat command we are running in the host one all the inventories in the host one uh, and cat command of uh, means uh, uh, getting content of etc mod d1 file okay so if i execute this command okay then what it is giving us a error what error it is giving no such file or directory so so let me check whether this directory is there or not okay so if i log in let's just suppose let me uh, log in into uh, my host one okay so this is my managed host one so let me ssh first my aws uh, managed host one machine okay i have login so let me see if we are having etc i yes, suppose if i am having correct cat uh, etc mod d1 file okay see so mod d file currently not there that's why it is giving us error okay now let what we do next command let we run here is copy command okay in my control uh, control node okay so what now what we are doing in by this command ansible we are running this command on uh, by our host one okay command name is copy so we are copying something and these are the parameter okay content and dash okay so what we are copying we are copying a content uh, and uh, content message is managed by ansible and destination is the our destination uh, folder and file name etc mod one okay so as i shown you currently etc mod one was not there but after executing this command this file would be created there okay so see okay now once we have so and so um, um see here okay uh, this is very important changed okay so once we execute this command it's return the ip of our means in which machine it's run the command at this machine it ran the command and it changed the status of this machine okay suppose now i am executing this command again now i am executing same command again this time it is not giving status change it's this time it is giving status success because now state is not being changed this file is already present there and content of the file is again also same that's why there is the no change in the state of machine so see see the power of ansible okay it's also check the state okay so you can put any command here if it's if it's required to execute only then it will required and and it will show you the status as changed okay otherwise it will give you the status as success if any failure then it will give you some uh, so now let's whether this file now has been created here or not okay in my host one machine so let's see here 
now this file has been copied here okay from our control node that is the power of okay now if i again run this command okay for get um, content of this file okay now it should be succeed this time okay so now you can see it is giving you the output managed by ansible okay let 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 try to execute another command into the another uh, another host okay let we run this command into the host 2 okay uh so ansible host 2 let let me let me create a user on a host 2 machine okay so let me clear it so now what we are doing now by using this command what this command will do okay ansible host2 now this command will run on our host2 and command name is module module what is the module module is being used user okay and what are the parameter with this user module name name of the user what we are going to create uid and the state state means present means it will create the user it will check whether this user newbie present or not if it is not present then it will create it okay so let me execute it. See, so it has been changed. Okay. Now this uh, at this machine, this information has been changed. Okay. So UID has been created there. Okay, name newbie user has been created. Okay, with this, all this information. Okay, so that is how Ansible ad hoc commands run. Okay, and uh, now in the next part of our tutorial, now we will deep dive into the uh, playbooks, actual playbooks, and uh, we will see the power of Ansible to uh, made change in hundreds of uh, um, uh, managed nodes. Okay. And also, um, uh, and also keep uh, uh, the validation of their state, whether state is being changed or not, uh, or whether any error is returned. Okay, it is also having very, very powerful um, error module. Okay, and um, uh, if any success are there, so so everything would be managed by the Ansible. It is a very powerful tool. Okay, so we'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. Thank you, thank you, everyone.